Hello everyone and episode 23 of Cheat Already where we look at some CSGO evidence from Overwatch to find out whether we've got a cheat or an elite player on our hands. So our last episode featured some griefing to the max followed by a guy who was actually an elite player if you will. So let's jump straight into this one and let's find out what we've got on our hands today. So we have another Mirage and we have of course the warm up. A guy's been suspected already in the warm up and he is uh, about to start round one. Oh no, some something even disconnected or whatever. Uh he's got his M4A1 tornado. Got a couple of stickers on there. He sees the guy there. McCaw, go, go for the knife. Yeah, he gets him with a knife. That's what we want to see. Head for Ray Falls for a day, though. He's pushing up into Palace. Again, this is the warm up. So, this guy has been reported very early on. And I hate that when people get reported really early. Which means I've got to wait much longer to get into the actual game. And that guy's pushing into T spawn and. This guy's pretty crap. <laughs> it's going to be one of those ones again, boys. I don't think they're going to be cheating. It's just going to be a really shit shot. Was that Prefa? Alright, so. Match has started. Our guy is going to push straight from CT. Through Kitchen and on to B. So, he's going to put a smoke, I'm guessing, up into Apps or down short. He's going to put it nowhere he's going to get his knife out instead he's had the call from A to say there is lots of stuff going on there so he's going to rotate go through the connector and he's going to miss this guy oh why am I watching this and, oh he got the headshot lol finally got there and he pushes out there's a guy literally outside and he gets him with the head dink our guy instantly got better he looked like he was going to be terrible at the start, but he redeemed himself with a uh, decent pair of headshots. And now he's just running about, jumping on boxes, and watching sheep diffuse from above, right on his head. So our guy kills two enemies with headshots there, so he's got a 100% headshot ratio, but that, that firing beforehand was very, very ridiculous. So he's actually got himself um, a MP9, it looks like. And he is pushing on to B again. He's heading to truck. Our guys are indeed pushing up onto B. And nades come out. And he's going to step out. And boom. Gets three kills. And misses the last one. So he gets a, an assist there. But 2-0. Decent firing. Um, doesn't seem to have uh, been doing anything bad there. The beautiful looking tornado is back out. And our guys just got a P250. He's got his tornado ready to go though, and we've got one guy pushing out into uh, Palace. Bad uh, boys doesn't care, he just wants to go for the frags. And was that a little bit pre fiery, maybe? Hmm, can't really tell with that one. I mean, I would expect to look around that corner straight away. Our uh, last guy's in kitchen on uh, B, so I'm guessing he's just waiting for. Our boys to go and uh, chase after him it is a one on four. So if the T side guy wins here, then I'll be extremely surprised. Normally, if he was walling, he'd go straight for the um, where the guy was, and he isn't at the moment. I think he's expected to be around this corner, but he's not. Bomb still down on A. He knows he's where now by the shots he played but Rattle takes him out so yeah pretty standard round very very slight chance in um, in Palace there but not enough for me to consider anything dirty so our guys are going to A again it looks like and our guy the suspect is going to B he's waiting for a push out of B and there's not going to be one because our boys are all A so he's probably going to get the call now from his teammates to say that the action's all happening at A but our guy is quite content to hang around on B fire. 
So yeah, he's going to push down short to mid. Our guy Zigzag is one of two alive, and he is pushing out. And yeah, he didn't pre-fire around that corner. He kind of saw him. So yeah, pretty reasonable. Pushing onto A now rather than B. Our suspect goes whilst all the rest of the guys go to B. So he's going on boxes up into Palace. He's pushing Palace. He didn't check his left corner there like he did before. So he's going to push out to T-spawn. So he's pushing through, and he looks up there, and he takes out Frog. Is it Obnoxious Frog? Is it Normal Frog? No one knows. Oh, he sees McCaw and takes him out of the head. Think decent spray down there, and he's going to top mid. Looking at the dirt bags. Pushing on to B, and our guys are all up in the apps. So he's waiting now by underpass. But not much is happening because the guys are just waiting at apartments. GG. Nothing's really happening. Underpass, so I'm guessing our boys are going to be rotating, which they are. So our fella is going to go to wait on a ramp. Oh, he's throwing the smoke, he saw the guy there. Flushes out. He knows the guy is there. And Sheep takes him out. How can you not hear him? <laughs> I was going to say, if T won that round, that would have been outrageous. But anyway, our guy gets taken out uh, with his 75% headshot ratio, and he's pushing now onto A again. So he gets a molly down and he throws it through the smoke. But he gets taken out from the guy at Connector. And the terrorists finally win a round. Back again to A. For our guy. So he got took out from Connector last time but he hasn't checked it yet. He's just trying to get up on that box. That's his ambition at the moment. And he's going to go into Palace with his Mag 7 Heat. I actually quite like that skin, it's pretty cool. But nothing's really happening in Palace. It'd be great to be able to hear the in-game audio in uh, in this shit or elites. The reason being is you could hear if people are calling. Also hear people griefing as well. So our guys are going to push out into A. It's a 4 versus 2, although one of theirs is low. 5v2 should I say. And it's our boy against the world. So he's been ding well, he's been shot at because they know where he is, so they're all gonna be looking at him now. He's just baiting him out and he's gonna got no chance unfortunately, so I thought he was gonna run back, but he obviously hasn't. And he gets taken out, of course. He was surrounded there, and he had no chance. So, he's going to now push on to... I thought he was going to go to B, but he is indeed going to mid, it looks like, through window. Um, he jumps straight out, and they're on an eco, it looks like. Um, so, they're going to be pushing in, see what they can get out of the round, and they get taken out right at the top of mid. So, in this cheat, or really, I'm going to say this guy is insufficient for everything. It's a shame, because there's been no real... Um, big obvious cheats in the last few episodes been some pretty decent plays i thought this guy was really terrible at the start but he actually turned out to be quite decent but unfortunately lost uh, the round and um well lost a few rounds towards the end but did quite well at the start anyway guys thank you very much for watching insufficient evidence for this guy and i'll see you all in episode 24 real soon see you later on guys